Genetics. An Overview. Part 2. Discuss how asexual reproduction produces offspring identical to their parents. No genetic variation. Only one parent is required for asexual reproduction. There is no variation between the parent and offspring. Explain how sex is determined. Human males and females have 22 pairs of chromosomes the same. However, the 23rd pair is different in the cells of males and females. This pair, called the sex chromosomes, determines whether a person is male or female. When gametes are formed by meiosis, only one sex chromosome appears in each gamete. All egg cells have one X chromosome. Half the sperm cells have an X chromosome and half have a Y chromosome. If an X sperm fertilizes the egg, a girl XX will result. If a Y sperm fertilizes the egg, a boy XY will result. Understand how genotype determines phenotype changes in DNA, result in change appearance or function. An organism's genotype is the set of genes that it carries. The genotype of an organism is an expression of its alleles. If one allele is dominant over the other it will always be expressed in the phenotype. A recessive allele will only be expressed in the phenotype if no dominant alleles are present. Understand dominant and recessive alleles, homozygous and heterozygous genotypes. If one allele is dominant over the other it will always be expressed in the phenotype. A recessive allele will only be expressed in the phenotype if no dominant alleles are present. If both of these alleles are the same they are called homozygous. If the alleles are different they are called heterozygous. Draw Punnett squares and write ratios for the probable offspring. The Punnett square shows only the probability of what might occur and not the actual results. A cross between two heterozygous BB black rats BBXBB the genotypic ratio takes into account all the possible genotypes and is written as 1BB, 2BB, 1BB. The phenotypic ratio is an expression of the possible phenotypes and is written as 3 black, 1 white. Read pedigree charts and understand the patterns of inheritance. At fertilization, the possible combinations of alleles for the first cross can be shown in a Punnett square diagram. Understand the use of a test cross. A test cross simply involves mating the organism in question with an individual that is homozygous recessive for that condition. If the recessive phenotype appears in the offspring then the organism in question must be heterozygous. Know that variation may be genetic that is inherited through DNA and or due to environmental factors. Two processes that occur during the production of gametes that leads to genetic variation in offspring are crossing over, independent assortment. Know that adaptive features and variation in phenotype may affect the survival rate of the organisms. If the climate changes, a new disease appears, the food supply changes, or a new predator appears, those individuals that are best suited to the change will survive and reproduce. Those that are not well suited tend to die off before they are able to reproduce and pass on their genes to future generations. This process is called natural selection. The environment selects the best individuals, and as a result, the species changes. Discuss how variation relates to environmental change and survival of populations and species. Example how natural selection has caused some mice populations to become resistant to wolverine. People use wolverine to kill the mice. The wolverine kills most mice. Mutations are a change in the base sequence of DNA. Mutations may happen when DNA is copied in the cell. Mutations can be caused by some chemicals. A mutation in a sex cell of a mouse makes its offspring resistant to wolverine. The resistant mice have a better chance of surviving and reproducing. The mutated gene is passed on and is common in the mouse population.